Hi, I'm Bill Kidd. I'm the Director of External Affairs for BP here in the Northwest. So we're here at the Cherry Point Rail Offloading Facility and, and one of the important design characteristics of this thing was to make it as flat as possible. This is about a 200 acre uh, chunk of property here that we were able to put these uh, two loops in. And one of our di design criterion was to make it as flat as possible so that there was no chance of, of a train that could get away from us. If a, if engine was to, to break away from the train or some unforeseen things, the, the, the uh, cars just sit in place. There's no place to go. It's dead flat. And so that was, that was very important. The other thing about this facility uh, being this large is we're able to bring the unit trains all the way off of the main tracks that are run by Burlington Northern, so we isolate ourselves uh, from the external environment. So the train comes inside onto our property and it's really fully under our control while it's here. So, uh, you know, we permitted this facility uh, during 2011, 2012, and it's permitted for accepting one unit train a day. Now that's about 100 cars, uh, which equates to about 70,000 barrels a day. So we're not able to quite get to that permit limit now, uh, but that's certainly something we're working towards with uh, the cooperation of Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Uh, we have a really good example here today of the newer type uh, cars that crude oil arrives to this facility on. Uh, this has the latest uh, safety features uh, that you can get on a rail car for this kind of service, uh, including head shields on both ends of the cars, uh, rollover protection, a uh, big thing on top of the car. If, it, if the car was to roll, it protects the valve so you don't get a leak, uh, and also protection on the valves underneath. So uh, the, the thickness of the steel and the type of steel is also the state of the art here. Uh, as of October 1st, this facility uh, has determined that we'll no longer accept any cars that don't meet this higher safety standard. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, media coverage and concerns in communities about some of the older cars used in the service. Uh, we've responded to that and as of October 1st, as I said, uh, we will no longer accept those kinds of cars here at Cherry Point.